This is Cameron Chai from azom.com bringing another episode of Azo TV. Today we're speaking to Martin Thomas from Quantachrome, who's going to tell us about their new 3805 and 1905 porosity analyzers. Thank you, Cameron. I'd like to show you the new Wave series of analyzers that we're introducing at PitCon this year. These are truly uh, innovative products in the analysis field for porous materials. Totally electronic means of pore size analysis. So that's in contrast to gas sorption, which can take many hours to give you a pore size distribution of your samples, or mercury pore symmetry. Faster, but with the obvious sort of downside of using mercury, which nowadays people you know are trying to eliminate from their labs so we're giving those people an alternative an alternative means of measuring average pore size using brand new technology for this type of measurement the 3805 actually can analyze three uh, porous material properties mean pore size porosity and pore zeta potential but what i'm going to show you right now is a, is a very rapid analysis of average pore size or mean pore size and sample preparation is simplicity in itself too. All we have to do is wet the sample with a, with a, a, a suitable liquid, could be water, it is in this case, uh, it could be alcohol or some organic, and it's put into this sample cup, uh, at the bottom of which we have a special electrode that's going to impart a, a high frequency ultrasonic wave into the sample. And that ultrasonic wave then produces an electronic signal the magnitude of which then corresponds to pore size. So the larger the signal, the greater the pore size. And so this measurement can be done in a matter of seconds. So once the sample's in there, what does the operator have to do? All I have to go is over to the uh, software and click run. And the sample uh, is being subject to the ultrasonic wave. You don't really see much in, in this instrument. Everything is being done electronically. The ultrasonic wave is um, uh, producing electrical signal in the sample, and then it's read back uh, by the sensing electronics and stored. Now, normally we'll do this a, a, a few times, but here in the software, we actually did one. I saw the graph update, and the pore size is reported out here in, in nanometers, and that's all it takes. The analysis is done, okay? So, Cameron, let's move over to the smaller analyzer. Now, what's the difference here is the larger unit can do those three measurements, of pore size, porosity, uh, and uh, a special property, pore zeta potential. But there are many of our customers who say, well, you know, porosity is all I need to uh, monitor my process. I'm pressing powders, I'm sintering powders, and I just need to see how much porosity my product has. And the electrical setup, uh, or the electrode setup, is pretty similar. It's actually a different electrode. The sample is fully wetted with an electrolyte in this case. It's not water or no organic. It's a conducting electrolyte. It's put into the cup, again, an electrode at the bottom of the cup. And in this case, this small box imparts a very high frequency uh, conductivity measurement to the sample measures uh, the high frequency electrical conductivity ionic conductivity through the sample as done at 3 megahertz and that ionic conductivity the loss of ionic conductivity in the sample corresponds to uh, a loss of porosity so here ionic conductivity is directly related to porosity and it's a direct reading so again the speed of analysis and I'm just going to uh, start this analyzing uh, for you I'll click start, and as soon as the first measurement is made, the old set series of measurements is going to be uh, deleted, and then we'll see the first measurement come up. Generally takes maybe 20, 30 seconds to do that. Now, to do a standard porosity measurement without this type of technique usually takes two analyses. So here's the result of 10 replicate runs. You can see the run number along the bottom, and you can see how very stable the result is. And in fact, they're so stable that to one decimal place, the standard deviation is effectively zero. But you can see there's um, a real uh, measurement fluctuation in there, but it's so very, very tight. And that's one of the things that we really do like about this uh, measurement technique. Technique is, is its repeatability. Uh, and this total measurement, about 20 to 30 seconds per individual measurement. So that's sort of like three to four minutes for this type of type of run. Okay. Right, and typically, who, who, who uses an instrument like this? Well, this can be uh, used in a laboratory that's synthesizing a lot of materials who need to screen many, you know, very many materials that have been synthesizing a lot of that they want to then submit to a further detailed analysis by more, a more traditional pore size uh, measurement, for example, or as quality control tools in an industrial environment uh, where they can actually, because of the speed of the analysis and, and the reliability and repeatability of the measurement, they can actually use it for a quality control, uh, quality assurance type of uh, application. 
But then the measurement time of this compared to what, what would the typical measurement time for a standard mercury porosimeter or well, something like that? Well, mercury porosimetry, you know, we in the past we've considered to be quite fast. You know, it's maybe tens of minutes we talk about, you know, under under an hour for two samples completely analyzed for pore size distribution. Here we're talking about sort of seconds or is it minutes? It's that fast. It's two or three minutes typically for most samples. Now, gas sorption, you're talking about many hours to get a pore size distribution from which then you can calculate an average pore size or even just to get the total pore volume can take many hours by gas adsorption. So both of these techniques, both the average pore size and the porosity, we talk about minutes or even seconds for a single analysis. So if anybody wants more information about any of your wave series of instruments, they can find that on your website? Absolutely, that's www.quantachrome.com. All right, Martin, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new wave series porosity analyzers. Thank you. <laughs>